He's finally here. I've got a V5. It's a 20 plate as well. Look at that. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Exciting day. We have one road legal e-bike and it's a 20 plate. I can't even really believe this has happened because it's just taken so long, the process. But we now have a UK registered moped, electric moped. So this bike is completely road legal. It's an L1E electric moped. It has pedals, just like a regular mountain bike. These can be taken off though, you can put pegs on. So if you want, you can just ride it on throttle only, which is what I'll be doing. I'm not gonna be pedaling because it's not comfortable with this seat like this. So you don't have to pay any road tax for this because of the class of vehicle and it's electric, but you do have to have insurance and finding insurance can be a bit of a problem. So this video is actually sponsored by Bikeshore who have provided the insurance for me on this bike. So if you've got bikes like this, you wanna put on a bike for the SVA or you want to register a self-built electric bike then check out Bikeshore because they're one of the only insurers in the UK that I found that can actually insure a bike like this. The link as usual is in the description box down below go check it out also subscribe and like and do the usual stuff before you watch the rest of this video because there's going to be lots more exciting stuff coming on the channel about this bike. Let's go for a test ride. Right guys, here we go. First test ride out. <laughs> this feels really weird because it's basically the same bike as I've always been riding, but but yeah, so I'm just gonna go for a little um little poodle about this. It was it was sunny earlier and I thought oh perfect day, perfect day to um you know to get out, but now it's just it's what it's like in the UK at the moment, just been raining all the time. So here we go then. We're um Pushing about, that's only 1500 watts, 1600 watts, something like that. We're coming up to this hill, two and a half thousand watts. I've got my visor open and I've got a fly meal. First fly of the season. So a couple of thousand watts just to climb up here. So if you don't know already, this bike is pushing, um, it's configured for four kilowatts, um, which is the 50cc equivalent in the electric world um, to make a, to make it class as an L1e. It's also the maximum speed you can travel, as I mentioned before, is 28 mile an hour. So yeah, everything on this bike is kind of been, you know, addressed in other different videos, all the battery, the speed controller, all of the individual parts I've used to make this, this bike has taken, you know, three to four years of just constantly just messing around and finding things that work, finding things that don't work, and then learning all, learning all the way, basically. So, you know, this is where we're at. <laughs> it's just taken a long, long while to get to this point and especially get this bike ready so that it can be um, registered. But I think it does feel quite mild today. It's just quite nice. It's, it's definitely warmer than, warmer than it has been. So I'm just going to set out on this nice, lovely Essex countryside. So this is a moped, as I've said before, which and the equivalent of, of this bike would be a 50cc. But you see, the thing is, it doesn't weigh half as much as a 50cc and all of the torque is available from the word go. So you've got your four kilowatts, um, which I, I don't know. I, I don't know exactly how much power a 50cc puts out. I'm guessing they've done it comparable, so it's like four kilowatts. Um, but yeah, I mean, this would feel a lot quicker because obviously the acceleration, um, the power to weight ratio is off the chart. So, and, and you've got all the power available from the word go. So this is gonna be much more fun to ride than, than a pop pop. Um, you can ride this on a car license as well. So um, if you pass your test before 2001, February 2001, there's a lot of confusion over what you can and can't ride on a car license. But basically, um, yeah, if you've passed your car test before 2001, February 2001, I think it is, then you can ride a 50cc moped without a CBT, without L plates, which is what you want. But if you, if you want to go the CBT route, then you can obviously ride a, um, you know, the 125 equivalent, which basically, at the flick of the, of, of, at the flick of the switch, this bike could be a 125 equivalent. So, you know, that's... I'm going to shut my visor down because probably all you're going to do is wind. Um, oh, that's nice. This is a new crash helmet as well. I've got a nice showy crash helmet. Um, that's the other thing. You need to need to have a, um, a proper motorcycle helmet by law. 
and all the other stuff I've got got um, some other gear on as well these heated gloves are lovely uh, but yeah as you can see not very many cars about which is what I want I don't want to be riding around with um, with loads of other cars it's not much fun that's not the reason why I did this and you know the reason why I've done this for those that are sort of new oh, stand up because oh this is nasty um, it's like gravel works or something there yeah the reason why I've done this is mainly to show the, you know the, a, a point basically because um, it's one of those things where it's starting to get a little bit questionable um, riding around bikes that you've built yourself um, that run a little bit more power than they should do and you know a lot of the time you can get under the radar and you know a lot of people do this uh, I've always said to people that you you know it's advisable to only ride these bikes off-road or um, you know if you're gonna build one you know keep keep it down the thing with the way they enforce these kind of laws at the moment it seems to be all about um, the maximum speed so the thing is the way it's written is that an e-bike can't be power assisted above 15 and a half mile an hour so what tends to happen is if you're going faster than 15 and a half mile an hour you're probably going to get probably going to get a problem if they see it's an e-bike but of course a normal bike goes faster than 15 and a half mile anyone can pedal faster than 15 and a half mile an hour so it's a very strange a very strange thing of course they've not got any way of testing power output on these bikes um you know at the roadside or anything like that so you know it's unlikely there's going to be issues um you know surrounding that it's a bit like all these e-scooters really you know there's a lot of them about a lot of people ride them you know a couple of really bad accidents unfortunately on those all that kind of opens up a can of worms so you know it won't be long only this morning i saw something in france that somebody pointed out to me um where they've banned people tweaking or chipping e-bikes because that is obviously um you know a problem and that's become recognized that people are doing that so it's downward here for really it's downward from here it's a bit like the drone um situation with flying drones you know they, they just they've changed that and now you've got to register and you know if you get caught doing something you shouldn't be then it's a problem you've got to be accountable to it um which you know in some ways is a good thing in other ways it just well i don't want to get on a rant but it had kind of spoiled what had been a hobby of mine for a long long time where you could just basically just grab a radio controlled airplane and just fly it where the hell you wanted but not very many people were doing it back then so this is what happened what i'm trying to do with this bike in particular this is a bike that i don't actually even really ride that much anymore and um you know i just thought let's show the world how to do it because i'd been working on this for a long time and um, yeah lovely little lovely little place down here that's did this is um so yeah that's that's really where it's at um but enough of that you want to know more about you know how this goes and as you can see breezing up this hill no problem at all no sound not making a racket doing it and um yeah all good really i mean with this you've got to obviously insure it in taxi as i've said before tax is free because it's like an electric vehicle and also i think because of the weight class it doesn't it's exempt from it or something i don't know but i haven't had to pay any road tax for this um insurance you know is a is a thing you need to find um a good insurance as i've said before bike sure is the one um you know that is the one really because it's i think it's it's basically a spin-off of um Adrian Flux insurance which I always used when I was um, you know back in the day modding cars and stuff like that so I was aware of them from that from then uh, so you know that's it that's what you got to do um, give them a call and see if you can get insured it might depend on your location age everything else um, but I'm loving this this is just crazy really to think that I can do this now, I can just ride down the middle of the road, no problem at all. I'm amongst the idiots <laughs> on the road, but I don't have to be at the side, that's the main thing. I don't have to be where a cyclist would be and um, suffer all of that problem. 
you see I'm going downhill now so my speed's gone up a little bit. This speedo isn't correct by the way, it's these displays they don't really show the right, it's calculated from the hall sensors so it's not, it's just not perfect. So this is a really good way to do it, it's really good fun, I mean you know if you want a fast bike go and do something else but this is, this is great, the acceleration is fantastic as I've always said in all these videos on this, this bike, it's just a great way of getting about. You know, it would be ideal in, in sort of London, you know, these sort of places or cities where you've got, you know, a lot of, uh, a lot of ways of getting to places, but, see that's the other thing with this, you can't ride it, once you've done this, you can't really ride it on um, bike tracks and stuff like that, so you're going to be restricted in that way, but I don't, I'm not really bothered, I mean I've got other bikes I can do that on, so that's not a problem. This is purely what this is for, this bike, you might have, I don't even see this, but I've, I've not actually gone anywhere near 4 kilowatts at this moment in time. I mean, because I'm cruising along, it's under acceleration you're going to push the power, that's where that power is going to be, but you know, up until that point you don't really need to, um, yeah, you don't, you don't really need a huge amount of power to maintain this sort of, uh, this sort of speed. And I've configured it in this in this position on the Sabaton controller, position three. It's actually uh, yeah about 30 mile an hour flat out unloaded. You see it's cre crept up a little bit. You're going downhill a little bit, so you've got a bit of momentum and stuff like that. But got my mirrors on here as well, so it's nice to be able to see what's going on. Uh, you don't technically have to have mirrors. You can have one on one side or both or either. You know, it don't matter. But um, you know, yeah, nice little, nice little nod there you get as well. But um, yeah, no, it's all good. It's all good. Really, really, really enjoying how this is going. I might just shut up now and just um, enjoy the ride. <laughs> So there's nothing stopping you doing this with any bike guys, in fact I'd, I'd actually advise it if you're running um, more than 250 watts because what you can do is you can just, it's not that complicated to do it as a moped which is why I've done it as a moped because what you can do is you can just do the bare minimum, you can have lights, you don't have to have indicators, um, you have to have a headlight so as long as you've got a bike that you can kind of add the bits on then you're, you're fine really, not a problem Climbing up, nearly four kilowatts there. It will maintain that speed though. That's the good thing, you can prove that four kilowatts actually will absolutely maintain 30 mile an hour uphill, no problem at all. And that's, this is quite a heavy bike as well. You could make it a lot lighter, you could, or you could just use a lighter frame, certainly. But yeah, that just proves that four kilowatts is actually is the one, and it's a little bit wet around there, I don't know if it's been raining. It is getting pretty chilly, I've got to say. It's not the best day for it. Alright, I'm going to pull in here. Yeah, I can even use the pedals to get going if I really want to, but I just need to, I want to get those pegs, some pegs sorted out. If anyone knows any way of doing it, let me know. I'm still riding with my visor open, I actually quite like it like this. I really hope it don't rain guys, it looks like it's going to, it's not supposed to, but you know. <laughs> Like every uphill, there's a downhill, get a bit of regen braking going on. So I've got my regen set to about, I don't know, I think it's like 20 amps or something. Um, 
you've got to be careful with regen because that can really wreck batteries if you you know if you don't have it set at the right level um, at the low end if you've got a normal like one of the Kirby bike kits for example don't even bother with regen because it's not going to do anything um, the, the battery itself can only be charged at about 4 amps maximum so 4 amps is not going to give you any break, hardly any braking power at all certainly not going to put anything back into the battery really um, so I, w I, would, I wouldn't bother it's better just to be on the safe side really um, and just not not do that right let's see if I can find a coffee down here I don't know if there's going to be anywhere uh, scratch that we'll go go this way getting all the smells of the uh, all the fires being cranked up for the evening around here what I should do with this really is actually add a charger inside the box um, inside the battery box so what I can do is charge it from just normal mains outlets so I could even um, use my type 2 adapter for my twizzy to charge it at charge points just in case um, you know mine shouldn't be an issue but I can already tell that I'm going to need a bigger battery um, you know going much further than I'm doing now I'm going to need a bigger battery so we'll just have to um, we'll just have to wait and wait and see see what I can see what I've come up with so I'm saying there'll be some interesting videos going forward on this one um, about this bike <sighs> not a problem idiot So I hope you enjoyed watching anyway. Oh, nice i 3 s So I hope you've enjoyed watching anyway, guys. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram um, and all the other social media platforms. Doing quite a lot in there at the moment, and I will catch you later. <laughs>